Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Lorraine Rose and if you're new here, please make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. It means so much. For today's video, we are going to be doing a makeover to our master bathroom. <laughs> We have lived in our home for nine years and I have not really touched this bathroom. One thing that really bothers me about the space are the walls. They're really textured and they're just kind of gross. <laughs> they're not smooth how I would prefer it to be and I actually realized later on the reason why they're not smooth is because the previous owners painted over a textured wallpaper which I'll show you later on in the video but without further ado let's just get right into this video. So the first thing I did was I cleared out the space. I basically just emptied it all out. I went ahead and I set all of my vanity items right here on the bed. And then I set all of the items that were on top of the vanity and that were placed on the shelves, just everything else, all of the random items that were out in the bathroom on our dresser. And I am going to be going through all of my items before I put them back into the bathroom and kind of just decluttering them. And that's something I would recommend for you to do. If you are gonna do a remodel, empty out the space and kind of go through what you have. Give away the things you don't want, try to sell things. I was able to sell the mirror that was in this bathroom. And so that was really great because we were able to use that money towards other things that we wanted to get for the bathroom. But yes, we are just clearing out the space first and then the first thing that we did was we took out this old glass shower door and as you can see there was like mold where the door was glued to the tub and I'm pretty good about spraying <laughs> our bathtub and like deep cleaning it but there was really no way for me to get into that space so I'm really happy we were able to take the doors off and I was able to kind of scrape all of this glue off the tub and then I typically don't like to use bleach because it just makes me feel really sick when I use it, but I did go ahead and spray the tub with bleach and then I left the room and I just kind of let it sit in there and really kill all that mold. And then my husband went ahead and took off this small piece of the vanity. We are not replacing the vanity during this makeover. We wanted to be able to do a makeover that was still really beautiful, but that was also cost effective and wasn't gonna take us days and days and days to do. So yes, that is the ugly wallpaper, <laughs> the textured wallpaper. And so basically what we're gonna do, instead of smoothing out the walls, because I felt like that would have taken probably two or three days to do, what we did was we invested in beadboard and we're just putting beadboard up along all of the walls. This is a really small master bathroom. And so I thought it would be nice to be able to do beadboard. You can invest in more expensive material when you have a smaller space. Now you can tile your bathroom walls, that's another option, but I wanted to do beadboard because I wanted our bathroom to really have like a spa-like feel. Kind of like when you walk into a sauna and it's wood everywhere. There's something about wood that's really calming and relaxing to me. And so, you know, this look isn't for everybody. Not everybody would like this, but for me, Every time I walk into my bathroom now with all of the beadboard and we just left it the natural wood, it was just so calming and, and it is so calming. <laughs> so that's why I chose that. And then we took the existing mirror off and we added these medicine cabinets because I wanted to be able to take everything off of our counters and house it in like a mirror storage solution just because I wanted it to look more clutter free. And so that's why we got these medicine cabinets and we got one for my husband's things and one for mine things. And then as far as the light fixture goes, my husband went ahead and he drilled some holes in the wall on either side of the mirror. And he went from our attic and he added new electrical because he knows how to do electrical. My husband is a man of many talents. And so it, it's really, it makes projects just such a breeze with him because he's so skilled in so many areas. And then he also added some new switches, switch plates to the bathroom. These are just small things that you can do that really do make a big difference. And then we just spent one day buying all the beadboard and cutting it down to size. So that's kind of just what we're doing here. But 
like I said, you don't have to do beadboard, but if you do choose to go the beadboard route, just make sure that you apply a coat of poly on it to kind of protect it from all of the moisture. Now we did put a new bathroom exhaust fan in to help with the moisture, but that's just a little tip. This isn't something that I did in this video. I didn't add the matte poly because we're just gonna leave the beadboard up for two to three months and see how we like it before we add the poly because we may want to paint some of the beadboard white, not all of it, but just some of it to kind of break up all that wood. But we're gonna just see because I honestly love all of the wood. I kind of feel like the only reason I would want to paint it at this point is because I know that this isn't something that everybody likes. Most people would paint beadboard, but you know, this bathroom is for me and so I'm trying to just stick to what I like even if it's not everybody else's aesthetic. <laughs> and then instead of replacing the vanity, I basically just lightly sanded it and I took a paintbrush and I painted it a like seafoam green color and then I took a roll I went in with a roller afterwards just to make it look really smooth and I didn't actually film this part just because this video is already kind of long and I'm sure that you guys have seen people paint before so <laughs> it's nothing new <laughs> and then I did have my father-in-law come in and kind of help me it took us about a week to do this, but the last day that we had to finish everything up, my husband was at work, so my sweet father-in-law came in and helped me finish this. So one thing we did to the tub was we didn't add any new tile, we didn't get a new tub, but we did add a new faucet and a new tub handle, and it's just little things like that where it really makes a big difference. Like, don't feel like you have to tear down all the tile and you know, get a brand new tub and invest hundreds of dollars into a bathroom. Just something simple like changing the fixtures makes a huge difference. And then obviously taking out that old gold <laughs> shower door. And we put in a curved shower curtain rod. And I will link the shower curtain rod if I can find it. I think we purchased it at Lowe's or Home Depot. I'll try to find one for you guys though. And I will link the shower curtain hooks down below for you. I love these hooks. They're just so beautiful and timeless. The reason I went with brushed nickel is because I feel like that's more of a timeless look. I know that gold is really popular right now and there are other fixtures that are more trendy, but I tried to stay away from trends because I wanted a bathroom that I would love for years to come. And so that's why I went with just the, I believe this is called brushed nickel look. And then once we were done putting the shower curtain up, we went ahead and we added a towel hook to the side of the tub. I tried to add storage where I could because the shelves that were in our bathroom behind our toilet here before, we weren't gonna put those back in. I just wanted a more clean, minimal look. And so anything else that we brought back into the bathroom was gonna be a functional piece. And so behind the toilet, we went ahead and we hung this bath towel bar and it's a double one which I really liked because I knew that would look really beautiful so I bought some really pretty towels and I layered them on this piece right here and I just for me in any design that I do I want my pieces to be beautiful but also functional and so that's why the items that I chose to hang on the wall I wanted them to be beautiful so I, I did invest a bit more money into these fixtures and then instead of replacing the entire toilet this toilet was original to the house and the toilet seat was just really gross we just replaced the toilet seat so that's just another tip instead of buying a whole new toilet just replace your toilet seat and it makes such a huge difference and then for hand towels I went ahead I purchased this hand towel holder <laughs> from Ikea and you can hang three hand towels on it at a time and so I really loved the way that looked and then instead of replacing the vanity and the sink we just replaced the faucet which I think makes a huge difference. 
Now, a little bit later on down the road, we are gonna replace the vanity, but for now, I really love the way it turned out. Now, I did put a coat of matte poly on the vanity after I painted it this seafoam green color, but I think that this poly might have been a little bit old because it didn't dry clear. It dried kind of like a milky white color, but I thought that looked kind of pretty actually. I feel like it gave the vanity kind of like a French country look. And so I thought, well, that's really pretty. And eventually we're gonna change the vanity out anyways. So for now, I, I really do love the way that it turned out. And then I went ahead and I just took the tape off and I added new knobs to the vanity. This is one thing you can do to make a huge difference. I purchased these knobs, I believe from either Lowe's or Home Depot, but I just love the simplicity of them. I love how timeless they are and they're just so elegant and beautiful. So I'm really pleased with these handles that I chose. And then for my shower, I, I've had this shower caddy, but I do wanna talk about it because it's so awesome. It's made of rubber and plastic and it never rusts or gets mold on it. I, I do clean it about a couple times a month, so maybe that's why it doesn't get mold on it, but you don't have to worry about this kind of rusting like the other kinds. I will try to find it on Amazon and link it down below for you. <laughs> and then for my shower curtain, basically what I did was for my liner, I purchased a liner that you could throw in the wash and you can bleach. And then for my actual shower curtain, I chose this waffle weave, and this is a white color. I'm sorry the lighting in the bathroom is so bad. <laughs> I'm, I, I have to figure out how to film in my bathroom now with the new light fixtures <laughs> so it doesn't look super yellow how it looks right now. But I will link that shower curtain down below for you. It's really thick and just beautiful. I love it. And I love that it's white so that way I can always just bleach it if I need to. And then these towels are from Target. They're from Joanna Gaines's Hearth and Hand collection and they're so beautiful. These are more so like for decor. I was gonna purchase a painting to put behind the toilet, but I thought, you know, a painting is just decorative. It doesn't really serve any purpose beside that. And so that's why instead of investing in a painting, I invested in a really nice towel holder and some really beautiful towels. And I told my husband, I said, these towels aren't for use, they're just for decorative purposes. <laughs> so I hung some other towels up on the hook that you saw us hang up earlier next to the shower. And I will also link these light fixtures in the description box below for you. They were the closest thing that I could find within our budget to what I wanted. And so if you're trying to find light fixtures similar to this on a budget, I'll link them down below for you. And I also purchased matching hand towels that I just hung on this hand towel rack, which I absolutely love. It's so beautiful. And so that's just a little tip. Instead of just buying a basic towel holder, <laughs> try to find pieces that are different and ornate like this one that I found at Ikea. And I think it was only like $11. It wasn't super expensive. And then one last thing I want to talk about as far as what I put in our shower is this little, it looks like a Brillo pad kind of, but you put your soap in it and then you just lather it up really good in the shower. And when you wash, when you scrub your skin with it, it kind of feels like you're exfoliating your skin. I will link these down below for you. I love them so much. <laughs> and then another item I want to talk about is my scalp massager. A lot of these come where they require batteries, but I love this one because it doesn't require any ba batteries and it does the, pretty much the same job. It kind of exfoliates your scalp and prevents your scalp from getting any, any more dandruff than it may already get. <laughs> and now I'm just setting up the tub with my tub tray and my skin brush here. I like to brush my skin before the I get in the shower. It just kind of helps circulate all of my blood and it has so many health benefits. And then I'm going to just add this beautiful candle here. My husband and I are going to be having a staycation for our anniversary this year and so I'm kind of setting up our bathroom for the staycation while I'm doing this as well. And I will talk a lot more about our staycation and how to plan a staycation later on in the month, so stay tuned for those videos. And then I just added this simple, minimal, I already had this 
bath towel rack to the back of the door and this is just a great storage solution if you have a small bathroom like we do just hang something up on the door that you can hang your extra towels on and then I purchased this beautiful wooden stool off of Amazon I will link it down below for you and because we kind of we got rid of all of the shelves that were behind the toilet so I needed somewhere to house my bath salts and my husband actually purchased <laughs> some really good smelling body scrubs and body lotions for me from Bath & Body Works. I normally never shop there because I like to make all of my own products, but I'm going to be using these on our staycation just for fun. Sometimes like once every few years I'll go to Bath & Body Works and I'll just, you know, buy some stuff from there. I'm not a huge advocate because I prefer to make my own products. I like to know what's going on my skin, but for our staycation, our anniversary, I thought oh, it would be fun to have some <laughs> fun bath products so my husband got those for me and then I just went ahead and I housed everything back into our bathroom and this was everything that I ended up keeping and that was on our counter before that I use on a regular basis so that's what I put in the medicine cabinet and then I just housed everything else in my vanity that I used but just not on like a daily basis. And then for the counter, I went ahead and I housed all of my washcloths that I used to wash my face with in the morning in this basket here with a headband and my makeup brushes that I use on a weekly basis and then a cute just little decorative vase. <laughs> but that is everything that's out on the counters and that is pretty much everything. I just added this bath mat that I already had and I am just so pleased with how this makeover turned out this was, is something that we were able to accomplish within a week and that was kind of the goal we wanted to be able to do a bathroom makeover that made a huge difference but that also didn't take up a ton of time and so I hope this video was helpful and stay tuned because like I said I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how I prepare for a staycation and all the fun things that we're planning on doing for our staycation this year and also, we are doing a whole backyard transformation, so stay tuned for that video. And until next time, I love you guys so much. Bye!